Hi everyone, welcome to Bodyworks Prime. Today we're going to be going over the origin, insertion and action of the brachioradialis. Here you can see an anterior view of the brachioradialis. It's located on the lateral side of the forearm and it's also crossing over the elbow joint. Next we can see a superficial and anterior view of the muscles of the arm. You can see the brachioradialis muscle highlighted in green. Just lateral to it, we have this muscle here, which is called the extensor carpi radialis longus muscle. Just medial to it, we have the pronator teres. The pronator teres is running deep to the brachioradialis, so its distal portion of it is actually being covered up by the brachioradialis muscle. Just medial to the brachioradialis again, we've got this muscle here, which is the flexor carpi radialis. Next, we can see the origin marked out here in red. And you can see the medial epicondyle of the humerus here, and just lateral to it, the lateral epicondyle. And starting on the lateral epicondyle will be a ridge, and it will come up this area here. That ridge is called the lateral supracondylar ridge of the humerus, and that's going to be our origin point for the brachioradialis muscle. Highlighted in blue now, we can see the insertion of the brachioradialis, and that's on the styloid process of the radius. So the styloid process of the radius is located on the bottom lateral corner of the radius here. So you can see the insertion is on that styloid process, but it's also just slightly superior to it as well. So let's have a look at the actions next. Because the brachioradialis is coming up the forearm here and crossing over this elbow joint, its contraction is going to cause a flexion of the elbow joint. Now we've also got muscles in the upper arm contributing to that as well. For example, the biceps brachii and the brachialis muscle. If you want to see videos on them, I'll put a link in the description box below so you can check out them afterwards. Now, in addition to elbow flexion, we've also got supination and pronation of the forearm. Now, both those actions are just secondary actions. Obviously, its primary one is flexion, um, but the supination and pronation is something it's able to work together with other muscles to assist them in. It's a very small contributation compared to muscles like the supinator muscle for supinating or the pronator teres muscle for pronation. But it can help those muscles in performing those tasks. Now, which one it performs is going to obviously depend as well on the initial orientation of the forearm. So when the forearm is supinated, that brachioradialis can contract and move into a more pronated position. Likewise, when the forearm is in a more pronated position, brachioradialis can move it into a more supinated position. So if you found the video helpful, or you've enjoyed it, you know which buttons to press. Press those buttons down there, because it really helps our channel. As always on the website, I've got flashcards to help you memorize this information. So check out them if you're interested. Thanks again for watching everyone. See you all next time.